Welcome to my tea party. You're gonna need rehab when you're done with it. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit? It's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl and turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my debut EP Mental Notes is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, all of it. So make sure you buy, stream, and download today. And if you do, send me screenshots of you streaming because I like to put it on my Instagram story, my Snapchat story, my YouTube story, all of it. You know I be showing love to those who show love to me. But now that that self promo is out of the way, okay y'all, we are nearly finished with Love Island and it's making me teary eyed. Oh my God, I wonder what's gonna happen. I guess we don't really have to wonder because um we're about to jump right in right now. So first things first, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, do it because I told you to do it earlier. Did you do it? Okay, let's go. Welcome back to Love Island. Last time, things got weird. The chicken shop had a fire pit and you guys were all there and they made us put on these hats with like pictures of food on them. And Reese put his foot in it. She hasn't even tried to get to know me, you know? And coming up, it's time for the Islanders to go on their final dates. I can't get over how lucky we are to be here together. Oh, that's my man, y'all. The Islanders are chatting in their couples. You can hear Reese from across the lawn. And then a corkscrew splash is the same, but you go from the top rope and twist in the air. It feels like he's been describing wrestling moves for hours. Thank God for that. Guys, I got a text. Ooh. Islanders, today each couple will go on their final Love Island dates. Ooh. Immediately, everyone comes running over. Yes, mate. I'm so excited. Who do you think will go first? And what do you think they got planned? I hope ours is like going to watch a footy match together. That would be so decent with beer and pies and everything. Get this, they don't eat pies and matches in Spain. Everyone just eats like sunflower seeds. There's shells everywhere. Are you guys serious? Would you take a girl to a football match even if she's not into football? These dates aren't just about what you wanna do. I wouldn't mind. I like dates that show me the things my partner is into. I wanna get to know that person better, so I wanna do something they like. Don't you? What kind of dates do I like? No, I like dates that both of us like. If I don't like it and you like it, you won't be the only one having fun. And if I like it and you don't like it, I'm gonna be the only one having fun. So how about we just go to Dave and Buster's? Then everybody can have fun and we can drink too. Oh, I'm all about new experiences. I wanna show off what I like or I'm all about the part after the date. Wow. <laughs> well, no, I'm all about new experiences. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'll be taking you to a wrestling match when we leave here then? You better. I think I just want romance on a date. I hope it's a midnight dinner under the moonlight. That's so good and really traditional too. Do you know why they eat dinner so late in places like Spain? I have a feeling you're gonna tell us. Yeah, go on, tell us, babe. <laughs> well, it's all got to do with the geography of the time zone. Spain is on the same longitude as the UK, but it's in the same time zone as Central Europe. Oh my God, why do you guys keep encouraging him with this? Oh, that's me. Alexa and Levi, you are the first couple to go on a date. Yay, please get ready to leave the villa immediately. Let's do it. Oh my God, I can't wait. The girls gather around and help you get ready for the date. Is it strange to think that this is gonna be your last date? It's the last date in the villa, which means I'll get a first date again in the real world. Oh yeah, that's a nice way to think of it. Still though, does it feel weird? Is it that weird? Not really, yeah, a bit, or it totally is. A bit, like we're about to leave here. Yeah, I get that. We've all been in the villa for so long now. It will be so good for us to all get out and do something in our couples. What are you gonna wear? Sparkling sequin dress or gold halter neck dress. Well, let's see them both. Ooh, wow, that is so cute. Wow. Okay, let's look at the neck dress. Oh, shoot, that's cute too. Dang! I'll have to go with the strapless though. Perfect, I'll wear this. That's amazing, hun. You put the finishing touches to your makeup and get ready to leave. Have the best time, you two. Aw. Our last date. You walk out of the villa hand in hand with Levi. There's a Jeep waiting for you. A Jeep Wrangler? Cause that's what I drive. The Jeep arrives at a shaded cove. The sea laps against the sand and the green foliage above creates a natural shaded spot. The only sounds are the sea and the birds. This is so beautiful. You walk through the trees at the beach edge and discover a table and chairs set out on the beach. Aw, there's a bottle of red wine on the table. We'd love to see it. Amazing. What do you think? Do I like it here? It's incredible. Not as incredible as you though. Aw. Levi pours you both a drink. You listen to the sea lapping against the sand. 
So, what should we drink to? What's a good toast? To our future, to making it to the final, or to absent friend? Um, to our future, duh. Perfect. We've got so much more to look forward to. You're right. To our future. I can't wait to spend it with you. Ah. You clean glasses and savor the taste as you drink. There's quiet for a moment as a waiter brings a plate of antipasti. What's that? Is that pasta? To the table. You help yourself to some Spanish ham. Oh, I can't get over how lucky we are to be here together. I know. I came in here single and ready to mingle. And now, whatever happens, I'm leaving as somebody's girlfriend. Did you think we'd end up together on that first day? No, actually I thought I was gonna be with Mason or Miles. Did I wanna be with Levi straight away? I wanted to couple up or I knew I fancied you or I didn't expect this. I thought he was cute, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I knew I fancied you though. Yeah, same. That physical attraction was there right from the start. I guess it just took a bit longer to actually get to know each other. Although it's not like I had many options right at the start. I was coupled up with Miles. Don't remind me. I try not to picture you with him. Oh, jealous? I was coupled up with Jen. That seems like so long ago. I know it does, and she really liked him too. Ooh, she was devastated when I took him. So rude. Did you think that would work? Or did you always fancy me? Or how do you feel about that now? I mean, like, I wanna know, did he always like me even when he was with Jen? <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, of course. I just didn't always know how to show it. Jen and I moved so quickly, I guess we just burned out really soon. I think when I knew I had feelings for you, it seemed like me and Jen were moving way too fast. Levi stops talking to finish a mouthful. <laughs> The only sound is the waves washing against the shore. I can't get over how good this is. I just want to savor every moment. We've been through a lot to get here. Have we been through a lot? Yeah, we have, Cherry Gate. Yeah, I won't forget. I do it again though. Cherry Gate, there was a lot to like. You and me were doing bits almost straight away after the first recoupling with Rohan and Cherry. <laughs> oh my God, on the terrace. Seeing new people come into the villa really made me think about what I wanted. Did Rohan and Cherry coming in change things for me? Yeah, I was worried about Cherry, or yeah, I fancy Rohan, or it didn't bother me. I was low-key worried about Cherry. Like, from the start, I knew she was trouble, and she was. But she tries to play innocent, little old oblivious Cherry. Mm. And it turned out you were right. I knew that part of coming in here was that relationships get tested all the time. But I didn't think I'd get things so wrong. I'm glad that's in the past now, and we can focus on the future. I guess the only thing that came out of it all is that you and me are in a better place now because of it. How do I feel about Cherry Gate now? I mean, low key, I still be getting a little bit bitter over it, but I'm over it now, live. It still hurts a little bit. Or let's talk about something else. You know what? Let's talk about something else. Good idea. Maybe it's not the best topic for a date. There's a pause and you both look around. The sun glints off the water. I just keep thinking about all the ways things could have gone differently. Don't! What if Mason hadn't been dumped? What if Lucy hadn't been here? Things definitely could have been easier for us. Yeah, of course. But maybe that's what makes it all worth it. Levi takes your hand across the table. Of course. The important thing is, we've come out the other side and I've got the most beautiful girlfriend I've ever seen. Ah! Levi said I was beautiful. Thank you. Or you're not too bad yourself. Or it's not all about looks. You're not too bad yourself, buddy. Oh, thanks. I love it when you tell me that. Levi blushes and refills your glasses. Yo, this my man. So cheers to us. We made it. You clean glasses again. So. Let me ask you something. We're gonna be leaving the villa pretty soon as a couple. We've got a whole future ahead of us. What are you most excited about for us? What am I most excited about for us as a couple? Um, meeting the parents, having a normal life, or getting a pet together. Oh yeah, getting a pet. Seriously? Yeah, I was thinking about getting a pet anyway, and I'd love it to be something we do together. That sounds amazing. I don't even mind what animal it is. I'd love to do that with you. Aw, yay, okay, we gonna get a ferret. Levi pours the last drops of red wine out of the bottle, then looks at it sadly. I guess our time is up. Thanks so much for an amazing day. Me too, ma. Levi sighs and starts to stand up. Aw, neither of us is ready for this date to end. Well, let's not end it then. I'm sure nobody will mind if we stay out a little bit longer. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you said that. Levi beams and sits back down. So, tell me about yourself. What? <laughs> you both laugh. Sorry, that wasn't a good jumping off point. Too general. At this point, I feel like I know most of the important stuff about you, right? Does Levi know every important thing about me? Pretty much, I'm an absolute open book to you, babe. Or no, there's so much left for you to discover or nobody knows everything about me, not even me. Um, pretty much you do, you know everything. I'm happy to be vulnerable with you, you know? I can give you any part of myself because I know that it will be safe with you. Wow, that was so cute. Babe, that's so sweet. I'm glad you trust me so much. It's things like that that make me not so sad about Love Island ending soon. 
because I know it means more chances to do different things together and share parts of our lives with each other. Like there's this natural lake I know that's really good for outdoor swimming. But the best part is if you're not into swimming outside in cold water with fish and stuff, which not everyone is, it freezes over in the winter and you can go ice skating. It's beautiful. I love ice skating, let's go. That's the kind of thing I want us to be able to do together. Once we leave the villa, I could teach you how to surf. I don't know how to surf. Take you to my favorite bookshop or redecorate your home for you. I could do that. If you want me to, that is. Yeah, go for it. As long as you're planning to paint all the windows black or cover every surface in poison ivy or something. We'll have to wait and see what the space wants. Some spaces want to be painted black and covered in poison ivy. Levi gazes at you and grins. I wish everyone in the world was as cool as you. <laughs> but then I'd seem less cool by comparison. Sad, but true. You keep chatting, making jokes and plans. For the two of you, time stops existing. By the time you're both ready to leave, you can't tell if you've been here for five minutes or five years. Thanks for staying out with me. I'm really glad we got a bit more time to enjoy this. It's only right. This is our last date on Love Island after all. But not our last date ever. You both stand up. As you do, Levi leans in for a gentle kiss. Aw, standing in the warmth of the setting sunlight, the sand between your toes, his soft kiss is perfect. You feel as though you really might have found love on Love Island. Wow, what a day and what a date. If I had known Levi was that smooth, I would have gotten in the villa myself. But if Alexa's feeling all loved up now, just wait until she gets back into the villa and finds out how the rest of the dates went. Ooh, that's up next on Love Island. Well, we about to find out. Welcome back to Love Island. Love is in the air today as the couples go on their final dates. So cheers to us, we made it. And the Islanders are making the most of their last moments together before the final dumping this evening. Whew, okay, let me go talk to my girl Erica. What's up, sis? Erica's doing something furtive in the kitchen. You watch her for a minute as she searches through the cupboards. Should I tell Erica what Reese said earlier? Ooh, should we start some drama? He was saying he was jealous that Lucy hadn't spent any time grafting on him. It seemed like he didn't care about how that made Erica feel. A good friend would tell her, and we could both use one of those right now. Okay, I'm a good friend, I'm telling her. But it's also gonna start some drama, which let's do it for the show. She checks over her shoulders to see if anyone is around and notices you. Erica, can I chat to you? Sure, what about? Okay, how should I put this? I wanna talk about Reese. Okay, sure. She stops what she's doing. I was just, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm taking more crisps. Oh, but they're for Clarice. Oh, mostly. <laughs> What's going on? So me and Reese were chatting earlier. How should I put this? He's a bit of a player. Well, I think he fancies Lucy. I don't wanna say that. I just wanna say what the truth actually was. He wanted Lucy to fancy him. Probably just so he could reject her, because that's how F boys are. But, um, yeah, he wants Lucy to fancy him. Erica looks surprised. What do you mean? Because he fancies her too? I don't know about all that. Not exactly. What exactly did he say? It's hard to remember exactly. Reese said, I wanted to grab on me, or is she a bit of me? Yeah, maybe, or I'm falling for her. I remember, I remember, is she a bit of me? Yeah, maybe, I remember that. That could be worse, I guess. You're not bothered? I am bothered, but I get it too. We're supposed to fancy the new people that come in here. I know Breeze, and I know boys like him. He has this ego thing where he needs all the girls to fancy him. <laughs> Is that me? Cause I did say when I came in the house that I was gonna steal all the men. Oh no. Am I Reese? Am I the female Reese? No. This is so typical. A new girl comes in, and if she's not interested, suddenly he is. His ego can't handle it that she's not into him, so he's convinced himself he's into her. Wow, wow, the mind. She isn't handling this too well. I'm sorry I said something, or maybe it's not that bad, or I just thought you should know. I just thought you should know, sis. Thank you. I'm so glad you came and talked to me. I've always thought we were mates, but that shows me you're a true friend. You know me, babe, I'm loyal. I guess I better go find Reese. Ooh, don't tell him I said anything. Seems like we've got something to talk about that isn't wrestling for once. That's none of my business. Um, who else is around? Let me go talk to the boys. How you doing? Because I don't want to talk to Lucy. Usually, what I do here is make a joke about what you're about to see. But I don't think there's anything I can say that will do this justice. I'm just gonna let this one speak for itself. You gasp as you cross the line to where Jake, Tim, and Reese are. All three of them are dressed up using bits and pieces from around the villa, and they're wrestling. And Tim Ye comes in with the clothesline. He sent King Reese to the mat. Reese lands on his back in front of Tim and then springs back to his feet. But King Reese pops back up. An incredible display of athleticism. Tag me in, Tim Ye. Um, hi. They all stop what they're doing and look at you. <laughs> oh my God. What 
is going on here or who's winning? Or is that Jen swimsuit? What is going on here? What does it look like? We're practicing for the LIWF Heavyweight Championship title match, which starts in about five minutes. For these lads, it's the most important match of their career. What is he talking about? LIWF? Heavyweight or who's in charge? LIWF? Yeah, the Love Island Wrestling Federation. I see. And who is in this federation? Well, pretty much just me, Jake, and King Reese at the moment. Do you want to get in on this, Alexa? <laughs> you can referee the title match. I mean, do I want to encourage this? I'm up for it, let's do it. Nice one, Alexa. I'll show you what to do. Come and stand over here and we'll get ready. Reese takes you to one side whilst Jake and Tim get into position. So what's gonna happen is, Jake and Tim are gonna battle it out first and then I'm gonna make my grand entrance. You can announce me if you like. Okay. Then all three of us will wrestle to see who wins the championship. When one of us pins the other to the ground, it's on you to count to three. If you do, the person who's on top wins the belt. Reese gives you a cheeky wink. I'm not saying you should count faster when you see me pin Tim, but you definitely could if you wanted to back your boy. <laughs> Mate, we're all ready over here. Let's do it. He walks over to a square of the lawn. Tim and Jake have marked out with towels. And now, battling it out for the Love Island Wrestling Federation Championship belt. Entering first from deepest, darkest, Devin. Mate, I'm from Cornwall. And weighing in at like 50 pounds or something, because he's tiny. It's Tim Yay. It's Tim's big entrance. I'm a cheer. Tim Yay, Tim Yay. Tim runs out grinning and does a lap of the ring. His cape box behind him. And a challenger, hailing from the frostbitten north. I'm from Preston, not Iceland. And weighing in at like 190 pounds, it's Jake Sweet Cheeks Wilson. Here comes Jake. Show your support, try to put him off or do nothing. I'ma show my support. We love you, Sweet Cheeks. Jake blushes. Come on in, Jake. Jake runs in and strikes a pose. Okay, Alexa, announce the start of the match. What do I say? Ready and fight? Let's get ready to rumble or ready, set, go. Let's get ready to rumble. Reese holds back laughter. <laughs> Close enough. Let's go. Tim and Jake square up to each other and then begin to grapple. Tim puts Jake into a headlock. Ooh, I'm winning. What do you think, ref? Is that fair? A headlock? Tim's got Jake in a hole. Seems about right to me. Or Tim's cheating, or I don't care. Seems about right to me. That's right, I'm the best. While Tim's distracted, Jake reverses the hold and puts Tim in an arm bar. Ooh, sweet cheeks with the reversal. What a maneuver. He's gonna tap out. No, I'm not. But suddenly, the champion arrives. Announce me, Alexa. Reese runs towards the ring. The spoon's on his head wobbling. What should I say? King Reese enters the match, or watch out for the meat hook marauder, or here comes another idiot. King Reese is into the match. That's right, and I'm here to defend my title. Reese puts the pressure on Jake and Tim straight away with a double takedown. He lands an elbow drop on Tim before pinning him to the ground. Tim's down for the count. One, two, Tim kicks out the last second, and Reese stops to taunt him. King Reese, King Reese. He's not looking, and Tim and Jake stand up and work together to pin Reese to the ground. Quick, Alexa, count him out. They might actually win. How should I count as fast as possible? You kneel down beside the boys and count to three as quick as you can. One, two, three. Jake and Tim jump up and start cheering. Reese winks at you. And it's all over. We have new LIWF heavyweight champions. The team of Tim Ye and Jake Sweet Cheeks Wilson. Can you even have joint champions? It's wrestling. It's all about the show. Jake and Tim run a victory lap around the pool. I'd like to dedicate this victory to Alexa. We couldn't have done it without her. Well, that's it for the championship, I guess. We had a good run. There's just one thing left to do. Lads, come over here for the ceremony. Jake and Tim walk over to the edge of the pool where Reese is standing. Uh-oh. So, it's my absolute pleasure to announce. In one swift motion, Reese grabs Tim and throws him into the pool. I knew it. I'm still world champion pool dunker. Wow, okay. Tim sputters as his head pops up above the water. His costume is soaked. Mate, I'm gonna get you for that. I love them, but let's go talk to my girls. With the double dumping quickly approaching, the girls have decided to get some practice in. That's it, girls. Sit around the fire pit. Perfect. That's exactly how we'll do it later. Alexa, come sit. How was your date with Levi? How was my date? It was beautiful. I'm so happy for you. What was it like? It was a picnic on this quiet little beach. Talia walks over as you're talking. Ooh, are you telling us about your date? One time when I was on a date with Levi, nobody asked. Nobody asked at all. Did, did you? Did y'all ask? I didn't ask. Leave it out, yeah? Oh, oh, I was kind of hoping we could all get on for a bit. How often do all of us girls get to hang out? Okay, fine. Talia's right. Can't we just have one last afternoon where we all just spend time as friends? I want to hear about all of your dates. Carry on, Alexa. Oh, what else should I say about my date? 
Levi was so sweet. I wanted something adventurous or the wine tasted cheap. Wow, that's rude. Levi was so sweet. I bet he was. He's so into you. I've gotta admit, you guys do look good together. We know. We shouldn't just grill Alexa though. I bet we've all had an amazing day so far. I still need to hear about everyone else's dates. Whose date do I wanna hear about? Jen and Tim, Cherry and Jake, Lucy and Rohan, or Talia and Jasper. I want to hear about, I want to hear about Lucy and Rohan. How was your date, Lucy? We haven't been yet, love. I'm like a teenager hanging around waiting for the phone to ring. Lucy hasn't been on her date with Rohan yet. Are you excited? Or what do you want it to be? Or I'm sorry it's with Rohan. What do you want it to be? I prefer something sporty, obviously, but I don't mind at all. I've spent so much time in here chasing someone who didn't want me. You're dang right, he didn't want you at all. I think it will be really nice to get out of the villa and get to know Rohan. There's no denying how fit he is. Good attitude, babes. Always moving forward, be your best self. Whose date do I wanna hear about? Jen and Tim, tell me. I wanna hear about your date, Jen. Oh my God, you guys, it was amazing. We get to this jetty and we have to put these life jackets on. I was so scared. Levi always made fun of me because I'm not really into water sports. Lucy stifles a laugh. But then we went jet skiing out to this tiny island where we had lunch. Jen went jet skiing for her date. Was Tim good at it? Or did you get to talk much? Or I'm so jealous. I'm jealous, low key. Me too, actually. It was so good just spending some time with Tim outside the villa. He's so full of hidden talents, it's amazing. I can't believe how much he's impressed all of us in here. When we came in, we all thought he was just a bit of a joker, but he's so sweet and funny and smart. I just felt so lucky to be with him when we were out on our date. You guys are sweet. I've got a text. Lucy, it's time for your final date with Rohan. Please wear sportswear. What do you think it is? Obviously it's something active. I hope it's like couples acro yoga and then a picnic on the beach. I'm totally basic as usual, but what's acro yoga? It's like it sounds, acrobatics and yoga. One person is called the base and supports the other, called the flyer, who gets lifted into the air in yoga poses. It's really a positive and sensual thing to do as a couple. Rohan would love it. That sounds so perfect for you guys. You really do have a lot in common. I couldn't do it though. I couldn't imagine sweating in front of someone on a date. Me. Lucy gets up to leave. I guess I better go find something to wear. Have a great time. All right, well, we talk to everybody. Let's go see what else is going on. I can't believe it's almost time for the final. But before that can happen, the six couples must be whittled down to four. Next time on Love Island, two couples will be dumped. I'm tearing up just thinking about it. But dang, did y'all peep how Lucy was gonna try to make me jealous when I went on a date with Levi? Shut up, nobody was talking about you. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want some more Love Island, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know about this drama and tea because two couples are going home the next time we play probably. So that's kind of scary. And don't forget to buy stream and download my EP Mental Notes because it does indeed slap. Ouch. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step.